So today I'm coming to you from my back deck instead of the garden. I just wanted to show you guys my little container gardening that I do on my deck so I can pick some lettuces for my lunches, for salads, or sandwiches, um, just because my garden's so far away, as some of you guys know. So it's just a little easier for me to do this on the deck. So this is great if you guys live in an apartment or a small home where you don't have much of an area to grow. You can use some containers to fill up with some potting soil and some compost and then grow some food in it. A uh, great little way to do it. So I'll show you some of the containers I use. I've got some of the deck boxes here. They're nice good sized ones. I've got uh, four of them now. I've had three but I picked one up from the greenhouse this spring and now I've got four of them. Other containers you can use as well are uh, five gallon pots, three gallon pots depending on what you're growing in it. Um, five gallon pots probably good for tomatoes so I've got one down here as well. This one I'm not growing anything in it right now as we speak. It's just sitting here hanging out. And most of these guys I uh, start from seed and then pop in the uh, boxes here. Some of these guys like these guys here they're just volunteer seeds from last year. I kind of let these go. I don't really use most of it. So they seed for me next year. Like that's from seed. That's from seed. That's just falling in. And uh, I've got lots of dirt in here from previous years. So one thing you want to do is make sure that you switch the dirt out maybe every two years or at least top it up with some compost because this soil I've got in here I have done a whole lot with it. I put a bit of fresh stuff in this year just for the top but ideally you want to make sure that you're switching out every few years so that you keep the nutrients in it and it keeps the plants nice and healthy. One another tip for your containers too you want to make sure they have holes in it in the bottom because if you get too much water in it if it rains um, they can fill up and you can get some root rot on the bottom. So this one here has got a few holes in it, three in the bottom and probably a few on the other side as well. And then I think these guys have holes in the bottom as well underneath underneath there. So great little way to have a little container gardening going. And uh, you can do it pretty much anything in there. I've got my lettuces because that's what I do for my lunches but you can do peas, you can probably do tomatoes, you could probably even, with the deeper ones here like these, you could probably even try carrots in them and see how they work. Um, the five gallon pots, you could do tomatoes, you could even do, probably try some squashes if you really wanted to, to see how they work in that. Um, squashes have a big root base, so five gallon pot could work. Um, people even have blueberries in five gallon pots, you could probably do maybe a little bigger pot as well. Um, but that works for blueberries if you want fruit on your deck, or on a place where you uh, don't have room. So this is great. Like I said earlier on, if you have no space or if you live in an apartment in a city downtown like Toronto or wherever you are and you're like 14 stories up, get some of these containers, some pots, and there you go. So there you go guys, just a quick little video on how I do my little container gardening on my deck in the back here. Hope you guys found that helpful. Please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share my videos around and we'll see you out there. Happy gardening!